Today, me and Tuck are going to show you how to build a raised bed from recycled pallets to save you money and help you grow more. Let's go! First, collect some pallets. You want to make sure that they have an HT on it. That stands for heat treated. I grabbed these ones from a local farm and nursery that was getting rid of them. I've also collected some pallets from the local recycling center. We're going to be building a three foot by three foot raised bed. One thing you'll notice is this pallet, these boards are more narrow than this one over here. That's okay, that won't be an issue, but we want to make sure that the thickness of the boards are relatively similar. For the bed we're going to build, we only need 16 inch pieces. So you can see here, these are about 18 inches between. We're not going to have to try to pry these out. This would be super tedious, or even use a sawzall. All we're gonna have to do is take our circular saw and cut essentially as close to the nails as we can without hitting them. And we'll use this square to bump up against it to make sure we get a nice square cut. All those are cut. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually flip this over. You'll see why. Just like this. Now, all these here are all square. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get 16 inches right there. I'm gonna mark it. I'll do the same thing for all of them. Like this one down here. We'll get 16 inches. We'll mark it here. We'll grab our square, we'll mark it like this, then take our saw and our square, we'll line it up, and then we'll just make our cut. This will give us a perfect square 16 inch piece. I'm going to do the same thing for this pallet and this one over here. After doing the math, I need about 32 pieces, but I'm gonna cut some extra ones. So let's get this cut up. We got all of our pieces cut. Let me show you what this raised bed's actually gonna look like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these pieces, we're gonna alternate them like this. They're all 16 inches. And then this is what's gonna form the wall for our bed. Let me show you exactly how we're gonna do it right here. I have a straight edge up here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my boards and bump it up against the straight edge and then just alternate like this like this you can see they're all lining up on the top and bottom nicely making sure to alternate slide this one in and this should be about three feet just by my math let's see how close it is we're at 37 inches so that's fine we'll leave it like this Next, what we need to do is attach a brace to the back of it to hold it all together. So for a brace, I'm gonna use a pallet over here that I didn't finish cutting up. So that needs to be three feet. We want our brace in the back to be a little shorter than three feet. This right here is essentially exactly three feet. So we'll get these pieces cut off and then we'll pop the nails out of the back of this and use this as a brace. Here's our brace. I'm gonna put this right on the back, just center it. Then we're going to take screws these inch and a quarter screws are what I'm gonna use, but the screw you're gonna use is gonna depend on the thickness of your wood. So you can see this lines up, so it won't go through the two of them. Next, we're gonna take our drill, and we're gonna make sure we pre-drill holes, because we don't wanna split the, the wood here. So we'll start here, we'll do, we'll pre-drill two holes in each one and then put the screws in. There we go are attached now. I'll pick it up and show you what it looks like. This is gonna be one side. You can see it's coming together really nicely. We're gonna do the same thing with three other sides. There we go, final side done. Check it out. Things are really starting to come together. I wanna to show you what it's gonna look like. It's gonna connect just like this. It's gonna be level though at the top. Then we're gonna have a cap piece at the top and it's gonna just be so awesome looking. What we wanna do next is seal it. To do that, we're gonna use some raw, pure linseed oil. This will help preserve it for just a little while longer. You could use something like the outdoor defense oil, but this stuff is much more expensive and we're really trying to do this on the cheap. So let's get our linseed oil poured. We'll keep Tuck away from it. What are you doing, boy? We'll get our linseed oil poured and then we'll start painting it on our wood. Let's bring this over here. like that. Then we're just going to paint this linseed oil and be super liberal with it. 
We'll do it on both sides and all the edges, but we'll start just like this. That side is all painted in. We'll give it like 10 or 15 minutes to soak in. Then we'll flip it and do the other sides. We're gonna also make sure that we do the top edge and the bottom edge. Anything that's exposed, we wanna seal it. Let's put some linseed oil on the back. You can see the linseed oil gives it a nice look as well. I love the way it looks. I finished covering them all with linseed oil. We're just gonna leave this to dry so it's not super messy when we're putting it together. And tomorrow we'll come back and assemble the whole thing. It's the next day. If some of your sides are different lengths, mine are all the same at 37. This one here too, 37. But if one of them is bigger than the other one, what you could do is just rip off one of the ends just to make them all even. If you do that, make sure that you're ripping a board that's relatively wide. You don't want to rip a narrow board like this one. And you don't want to be left with a strip that's super narrow either. A nice thing about building these is this, this one's only three feet, but if you wanted to, you could connect as many as you want together and you can make this whole bed as big as you want, essentially. Let's grab our sides and get this raised bed assembled. Bring it over here. I'm gonna assemble it on this board right here because it's relatively flat. It'll just make it easier for me to assemble the whole thing. And what I wanna do is make sure I have a wide side, a wide board that's gonna connect over here to a, to a narrow one. To help me connect all of it, I'm going to use these corner clamps right here. It makes it a lot easier to use to connect the whole thing. So let's get this corner clamp on. Then I'm going to take this piece of scrap wood right here. This is extra from what's going to make the cap. I'm gonna put this inside like this. And then I'm just gonna drill from both sides into this piece of scrap wood. There we go, all connected. We'll take this clamp off the top. Then we're gonna take another piece of scrap wood. We're gonna bump it up just like this. Same thing we did at the bottom, but we're gonna make sure it's flush at the top here. Then we're gonna connect it. And we're using inch and 5 8 screws here because I want it to be able to go through this piece and then not be too far into the, into the two by four right there. There we go. Got that side all done. Looks really nice. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing that we just did for the other three sides and we'll have the basic frame built. Then we'll get our cap piece on the top. There we go, final screw in. Check it out. <laughs> I think it looks awesome, but it's not even finished yet. I mean, you could leave it like this if you want, but I'm gonna put a cap piece at the top. It's gonna strengthen the whole thing up and just tie the whole thing together, give it a beautiful look. But uh, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So what we're gonna do is measure this top. Should be 37 inches. Then we're gonna cut a cap piece to 37 inches, a two by four, we'll cut that, then we'll linseed oil it. Let's grab our cap piece and get it attached. It's gonna go right at the top here. Look how nice of a look that's gonna give it. First, we gotta make sure we're pre-drilling. We'll start at the end here and go right into the other two by four. So we'll just go right here. Get the screw in. I'm using two and a half inch screws here. Make sure it's all flush. Just like that. Put the other side in. We'll come back and add some more screws, but make sure this side's all flush. Then what we could do is if there's anything that's bowed in or out, say that piece was bowed out like that, we could tuck it in and then take, a screw, take our drill and drill right into it. Just like that. Now it's all locked in. So the rest of it looks pretty good. But if there's some loose pieces like here, we can go back and do that too. Let's get the other side attached so it's looking really nice. I can come back and add some of those screws a little later. Let's get the other cap piece in. There we go, other cap piece connected. Next, we're gonna take a two by four for the other side. We're just gonna bump it up here and then just mark it. So we can cut it 
just like that. Then I'm going to take another piece of scrap wood and attach it up top here. And I wouldn't have had to do this if I didn't actually mess up a little earlier. So this brace piece, if I would have turned it sideways like this, I would have had more to screw into. So I shouldn't have done it upright like this. When you do it, just attach it sideways. Don't do it upright, but that's okay. Final screw in, assembly is complete. I'm really happy with the way it came out. I think it looks awesome. Really nice. And the Linsu all gives it such a nice like patina, a nice color on the outside. It's great. The only thing we have left to do is just fill it and get some stuff planted. Me and Tuck love building raised beds out of pallets, but we know that not everyone has the skills or the tools required to build one. Yet, we still want you to be able to grow. That's why we are giving away a free metal raised bed. All you have to do is send an email down here at hello at teamgrow.us. In the subject line, write the word grow and guess a number between one and a thousand. We're gonna put it into a random number generator whose ever number pops up and is the first one to submit the email with the winning number will win the raised bed next week. We're also going to announce the winner of the giveaway from last week where we gave away a vertical planter, so stay tuned for that. First, let's get some cardboard down at the bottom here. Push it down like that. Now, we're gonna add in some old compost just to fill some space at the bottom. We'll keep adding more compost till we get to about 10 inches from the top. Then we'll just finish the top off with some good soil. If you want, you could put hardware cloth at the bottom of your bed. If you have ground squirrels or uh, moles or something that come up underneath your bed, you could also put landscape fabric down if you really want to. I prefer not to. I like to keep, keep the bottom of my beds open. So we'll just finish adding compost and at the top, we'll add in some good soil and get some stuff planted. Almost all filled, just a little more soil to be added in. And usually I like to make my own soil, but if you can't make your own soil, a good potting mix is a great choice. Happy Frog is my favorite potting mix. Let's get this all leveled out, and then we'll be able to get some stuff planted. Looks like the young boss is uh, watching out for us. The king, he seems to like the new raised bed. He's hanging out right next to it, protecting it, making sure nothing happens to it. Right, boyo? Maybe we'll get some carrots planted in there for you, huh, boy? Spam some hearts down low if you love seeing Tuck in the videos. One more thing to plant, we're gonna get some lettuce in. You can see it looks beautiful already. Let's get this lettuce planted. Just gonna pop it out and then drop it right in this section here. Then we'll just have to come back and water it in, but check out how it looks. Raised bed from pallets, all finished being built. Costed very little money almost all recycled wood. Me and Tuck love how it looks. That's today's video goers. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you got something out of it. Me and Tuck are super happy with the way it came out. We'd love for you guys to try to build your own raised bed out of pallets. Not only is it will you save money, but it's a lot of fun to do. And I think they come out beautiful. We want to send a thank you to one of our new channel members, Jeff Manning. Thanks for being a part of Team Grow. Thanks for having your hand in everything we're doing out here. This guy's getting hungry. He wants some lunch. He's been out here working the whole time. He needs to get a little snack for all the hard work he's put in. Now, it's time to announce the winner of last week's giveaway, the Tower Garden. Me and Tuck are really excited to give one of these away. And we had a bunch of submissions. That's why we thought it would be a lot of fun to give away a raised bed this week. Here's what I did. I opened Google. I typed in random number generator. I put it between one and 500 and I clicked it. It kicked me out the number 195. I went over to my emails. I typed in 195 and there were four people who submitted 195, but Carly Motacek was first. So congratulations Carly for winning the tower garden. Let's all uh, send some love down low to Carly and congratulate her and we think you're gonna have a lot of fun with this tower garden and uh, we'd love to see some pictures in the future of you growing with it. Me and Tuck had so much fun doing this that we want to do another giveaway next week. So go to teamgrow.us and check out what you guys think we should give away in a future video. We also wanted to thank everyone who submitted their guesses. So check your emails. We're going to be giving you a free gift 
uh, just for the appreciation because a lot of you sent kind words and me and Tuck went through, we read a lot of them and it just means a lot to us so we wanted to thank everybody. We had a blast out here. Uh, we can't wait for the next video. It's going to be coming out really soon. It's finally getting nice out and there's nothing better than being out in the garden with King Tuck. We had a blast though. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you share it with your friends so everyone can have the opportunity to build a raised bed and be able to grow some of their own food at home. Tuck and James will be back again real soon. We out.